I've given up. I've given up. You know what? This game has beaten, battered me so much that I can't, I just simply can't take it anymore. My face is breaking out. I, I have to put Proactive on because there's just it's just too insane. This game has just broken my body. I've gotten canker sores, which I have yet to have in months, have now blossomed into complete misery. Um, the shirt that I was... This, it's falling apart. My insides of this shirt are falling apart. Yes, you can see literally right through it because it is just... It's broken, just like my life with this game for the last month. Like, what is this? Why? Well, I don't understand. Everything is just falling apart, and I don't know why. So, we're just going to race it out in, in a very disheveled manner, because this entire season's been disheveled, so it's fitting. So, let's get into it. Homestead, we're finally there. We have over 30 wins. It's just revolting. What more do I possibly say with this nightmare of a season? This nightmare world where everything has to be in the darkness. I just, I can't anymore. So, yeah. Uh, the only thing, the only interesting thing is... I don't think we're going to get to 1,000 points on Tony Story. That's not going to happen, but... Uh, the battle for 14th is close. 19 points is the gap between Jeff Burton and Ricky Craven. That is close. So I'm looking forward to that. Also, Michael Waltrip's kind of in the mix, too, because he's like 30 points out of 14th. So, yeah, it, that's also possible. Um, I don't think there's really a whole lot else to show. Paint scheme, I never even updated it after the last race, but we're going with that. It's it's fitting. It's a silver car. A lot of people, when they retire from, like, you know, their career runs like a silver-ish scheme. Harvick did it. Jeff Gordon sort of did it. So it's fitting. It's just pure coincidence, but it's fitting. Let's get on to it. Thank you, my two two Patreon people, as well as my YouTube members for our channel. First, you get early access videos, as well as showing emails for my stream. Thank you for what you guys do. I appreciate it. Let's get into it and just get this season over with. And win again, probably. Ryan Newman on pole. It's not super surprising. Giant Benson ninth. Um... Uh, Jeff Byrne was up there. That's not good. Ricky Craven. He's opting the choke decision. Okay. 30th. That's not promising at all. Maybe he'll make a comeback. I don't know, but that's, um, that's not a good, not a good thing. Also, it's default setup. Just to clarify, default setup. So, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get, yeah, let's get into it. See what happens. Does my controller really have to, like, disconnect from the gamepad thing? Like, I have to do this every time I load this up now? Like, what is this? so stupid. Like, I just did this earlier today. Like, why? Why is it, like, so, well, sometimes I can do it for, like, multiple days and it'd be fine. But then if I use it within the same day, it just breaks itself. I don't understand the logic behind it. Does it work now? Hello? No, we're just we're just not gonna work for the finale. <laughs> That's fitting. It's fitting that nothing works. Just like this entire season, nothing has gone. Well, I, I mean, I guess everything has gone right, but nothing has made sense this whole season. Let's have that not work now for no unexplained explanation. Now it works. I did the same thing twice. Now it works. I, I don't. I just don't know anymore. I just simply do not know. Let's get let's get on with it. Welcome to the Homestead Miami Speedway for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Ford 400. I'm here with Barney Hall. NASCAR ran its first race here in 1999. What do you think of this track? Well, with the new additions this year, I expect a different race than we're used to. Usually speeds are relatively tame due to the flatness of the racetrack, but with the new banking added this year, you could expect speeds to be much, much quicker. Johnny Benson won the Bush Series championship in 1995. That championship was sandwiched between two Rookie of the Year awards. He won the Bush Series award in 1994, followed up his championship with Winston Cup rookie honors in 96. The 43 car is towards the bottom of the points list this season. Well, there's always going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever see their name there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine. Kurt Busch is our NASCAR Winston Cup points leader coming into this race. Well, the NASCAR Winston Cup trophy is what it's all about, but you can't get it if you don't consistently gain points. These guys know that, and they're working hard to try and increase their lead this week. Your 
I gotta give it to them. That was a great introduction. No complaints. I mean, they talked about Johnny Benson, which they really seem to not ever hardly do, so that's like an added plus. And everything made logical sense. I, no complaints. Let's get into it. So, yeah, we have Kevin Grubb as a rival, but he's at a 40, so he should be mad enough to hit me. So, from what I experienced in my one practice race, Dover's E... Uh, Dover. D Homestead. I can't even get my, my track names right. It's easy. It's... I thought it was going to be a little bit tougher. I might have been thinking of the career mode uh, side of it. But, yeah, it's not all too bad. I mean, the blocking is always going to be a bit, a bit of a problem. But because of this track and how special it is, we can actually go under the white line and the AI not block me down there. So that's also refreshing. Ricky Craven, I, I can't even begin to explain why he's running so badly. But he's trying to get to the bottom lane, so he might be trying to have a comeback. Oh, look at him. He did it. Good for him. Now he just needs to gain some spots. He, now he doesn't need to block me. His AI can wreck if he blocks down there going into three, so I have to be a little bit careful with how much I'm willing to put my car down there. But look at Ricky Craven go. He's making up spots. All right. He, may, he might be trying to get back to a mid-run. Well, I can't even say mid, but just a respectable finish. He's been having a very... I had to hit him. Not enough for the thing to come up, which is impressive. Now, if that was the Kamikaze Games plan, it, it would have been like a negative 30. So... I think that's the that's also funny. Yeah, we're up to the P24. AI aren't very tough here. It's on legend. It's always been on legend. I don't know what else more I need to do to, to prove it. I need to have it like tattooed across my forehead. Always on legend, even in bed. I guess I could put that in parentheses. I don't know what that really means, but somebody's got to find out. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, so we're up to P20. Emulator, uh, we haven't had an emulator chug in a while, so it's like a throwback to everything. Speaking about throwbacks, look at that throwback. Dare, Dale, I almost said Dare, Dale Jarrett, alternate paint scheme. I mean, that's kind of cool. Haven't really, I don't think I've seen that all year. So that's kind of nice. I think that's the last game to actually have the flames in it. So, yeah, that's, that's cool. Brian Newman's still in the, in the lead, I'm assuming. But yeah, I don't know what, what, it's just easy. It's just easy street. It's been a theme of the whole entire season mode. But now we need to execute, or I guess we need to pick crew to execute. Just do the bare minimum. Also, Tony Sturge is running almost where he ran in real life in 2002. Also, can I point out how this track is not accurate to the real life counterpart? Not so much that the banking's wrong, but just... Hello, Benson. But, uh, yeah, so it's not so much about the banking, but just the fact that this track is so light in the pavement color. In real life, this was, like, black. Like, it was dark black pavement. Here, it's just kind of light. It's not accurate at all. Granted, when they made this game, they, I don't even know if the paving process was done, but... I don't know if that's something they can... I mean, they would have had to, to have guessed, but... I don't know. Maybe they didn't think they were paving it. They are just reconfiguring it. But how would you reconfigure without paving it? I guess, I guess it, maybe it's possible. I don't know. But anyways, rants and pointless tangents aside, we're up to eighth. It looks like we're going to get to the lead even before the pit cycle happens. Rusty, I'm not in the mood for your blocking. Fitting for him to block. Be petty. So try to be really careful. Because... Kind of like Rockingham. I should have brought up a Rockingham, but the car does get loose on a long run. Which, why would this track have any type of insane tire fall off when it's a newly paved track? I don't know. But it's looser than other tracks, which is interesting. Oh, we hit the back of Ricky Road for good measure. But, yeah, Rockingham was... It got... Tires definitely wore. You definitely felt it. Here it's kind of the same thing, strangely enough. So I'm being, I'm trying to be really careful on the throttle. Maybe that's why I'm like, you're seeing me go like throttle and brake constantly, and try and get the car balance properly. I don't know, but yeah, um, looking forward to NASCAR 5. 
at least that'll be harder. The format without for that would be a lot different. I mean, I'm actually gonna have to qualify because the AI tire fall off and stuff. I kind of need to do that just to even have a shot. If I just started last with 13% races, I would never have a shot to win a championship or really do much of anything. So uh, that's like the only way. And even then, it's still gonna be hard with qualifying just because when we get to the chase, there's three tracks that are a problem, like Dover, Kansas, and Homestead. So it's still gonna be relatively tough. Also got the lead from Newman, so that's it. Wait till we pit. Simple as that. That was pitifully easy. All right, we're pitting this lap. So, like I said, we're pitting past that zone because or the AI normally pit because they always get down there way too fast, faster than me. It's very unfair. So I go here. I think that still isn't proxy of gaining an advantage, but I don't know. Maybe I should have just done it the normal way just to just prove it. I don't know. I mean, even still, we're so fast, it's not going to matter, so... Either way, we still win. Nothing really changes. It, to, to, sorry to disappoint you. 16 was the estimated time. 59 was their time, so... Good job, pit crew. And now we just wait for everything to cycle through. But, I mean, if you play this game, you should understand what the AI do uh, on this pit axis. They're just... They just get like grip hacks and they just go way go through their way faster. And that can actually result in wrecks because they just run me over, so um it's a bit it's a bit annoying. But like I was saying, nothing's gonna change because of that. Probably would have lost time, even lost a second or two to leader, but we're so fast we'd be able to run them down anyway, so not ultimately nothing changes. So I don't know anymore. This game has broken me so much. I don't, I don't need to think about the logistics of the science behind the, the pitting here. I can't anymore. My body's like falling apart trying to process this entire season. Let's just wait for everything to cycle through so I can relax again. Probably the body goes down pit rows, so any chances of a yellow kind of throwing a wrench into everything? Not gonna happen. So, uh, well, that's nice, because, yeah, sometimes the AI will wreck here. Be, with the with the pit cycle and everything, like, they just kind of get intermingled together and cause wrecks because of it. it. Doesn't happen often. It's not like a guaranteed caution glitch or anything, but it can happen, and it didn't happen. So, uh, yeah. But I can't say this game has given me a good luck the entire year. There's been like two races that have given me bad luck, and one of them I was still able to win out of. So. I don't know. Either way, we're back into lead, and we're just gonna be on cruise control to the end. More Toby Keith listening, listening edge, and I can make fun of JC in the Discord. Slow piano. That's fitting. That this is fitting for the whole season. White flags out. The end of this nightmare is upon us, and we lead the most laps, which I don't think we hardly ever do, at least to my knowledge. But yeah, I did the thing in turn one. It wanted to go straight. Luckily, there was no cars around me. But yeah, this is just absurd. Absolutely absurd. I mean, maybe like two seconds to that nine seconds is the pit road helping us. But that still is like a seven plus second lead. I, I really don't think anything would have changed if I pitted accordingly. I, that's a dub. What a shock. We won again. And we get to do burnouts again. It's just pure insanity. This is what, a six race win streak? Carrying into NASCAR 5, which, I mean, it'll probably be ruined once we get to Rockingham, because that track's like impossibly tough, but. Yeah. Do I say anything else? What can be said with this season? It's just utter vitriol of, of sadness. I don't know how that's possible. But this game made it possible. What dev thought that, hey, let's make tra like every track nerfed and have like Dover and Kansas be like the only two tracks that are remotely difficult. And even then, those two tracks were difficult only in a 10% race. If it was a 25% race, we would have won that too. Same with Watkins Glen. But Watkins Glen, we kind of got unfortunate. But either way, not two tracks be difficult. Don't make the other 21 or whatever regular tracks. I don't know. 
but there was only three of the 36 races that were actually difficult. That's sad. That's really sad. Not a single caution lap was run in the whole race. Well, that's good news for all these race teams because that can mean one thing. No major wrecks. Kurt Busch ran in clean air pretty much all race long. Doesn't get much better than that. He led the most laps, and more importantly, he led the last lap, which gives him the victory. I like how he didn't have much to say. It's fitting. That's, that's my thoughts on this season. It's just... I saw the inside of Kurt's face there. Yes! The trophy! It's ours! We did it! Ugh. Yeah! Oh, he's hover-handing the Winston Cup girl! Oh, that's just the greatest thing ever. Greg Biffle's an ally. <laughs> we did it. I don't know really how to feel about it. It's just... I mean, we, do, we definitely did do it. And we get Road Course Homestead. Nice looking results. Bill Elliott got top 10. We won by 10 seconds. Oh my sweet Jesus. Yeah, I, I mean, even if we pitted or pitted the normal way, just going the access route with the AI, no way we were not, we were going to lose 10 seconds. Maybe two seconds. Maybe even three. I will benefit that, but not 10 seconds. I really didn't think it mattered. I think part of me was scared of just spinning out. Maybe post there, what if we'll throw in me like doing a practice race or something? Not a practice race, but like a race now or something after I make this cut. Just to prove that I, I could have done it and nothing really would have amounted to much. Like, the race still would have ended. A lot of extra leg work, but this is the season finale. We can afford to do a tiny bit extra at 3 in the morning. But yeah, uh, this is the race results. We led the most last by 2 over Ryan Newman. And the other 4 were from Bobby Labani. So, nice to see him lead some last before the end of the year. And... Jeff Burton. Where is Jeff Burton? Giant, Bur Giant, okay, Giant Benson got 13th. Nice. Uh, Jeff Burton. Where did he finish? Fifth. That is horse. That is hor That is some freaking horse honky. That. No. No. He's always. He's been, he's been around like 11th to 16th this whole year. And then at home state, he's going to freaking pull in clutch and freaking beat Ricky Craven for 14th in a situation that breaks the space time continuum because that's the narrative the whole season. Ricky Craven. 14th in points. Now it's all gone. It's just... I can't. I can't. This, this game just wants to ruin any good faith, any any goodwill it, it, it ha, ever had to just have something fun go its way. I'm annoyed. And I'm sure Ricky Craven got like mid as usual. Oh, almost mid, but he got to 19th, but still lost points. I'm sure Michael Walter finished ahead of him too. No? Oh, he finished ahead of Mike Waltrip. Oh, that's great. But where's my 14th in place? Justice for Ricky Craven. Walter got 24. That's funny, but... Uh, I don't know. I'm disappointed. Tony Story. <laughs> he de I didn't even notice. He DNF'd. Does that... Oh, yeah! We finally get 1,000 points over Tony Stewart. It happened. It took the final race... But he did it. You know what? Screw the jacket. Screw the lights. That's the true victory of the season. That's the true victory of this season. That's it. Lights are on. They have to be on. Because he, it's it's just, it's over. It's over. This this madness is over. We can turn the lights back. Well, until we win it. Astro 5 can. But the lights will be back on for now. And that's a great, you know, we don't even need this jacket anymore. I'm free. I'm free. I'm finally free of this nightmare game. Oh, it's it's just good times, good vibes. It's just it's just it is truly, truly peak timeline. That is just what I mean. How more wrong could this season have gone? Did Ryan Newman just get second over Tony Stewart in the points now? With that, because that's the worst case scenario. I don't know. Let's find out. But we got to look at the interval. Because that's 10.6. That might put it 10th. I don't know. It's, it's close. So 10.641. That puts it 11th. <laughs> Two tenths short of uh, surpassing it uh, for, to, uh, for Lowe's to be in the top 10. That's a uh, uh, very sad irony. But we were close. Okay. Well, that's, there's that. We answer that question. And that does it. That is 2003 season all wrapped up.
Ryan Newman got <laughs> Ryan Newman got second over Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart had to choke the points, uh, second place of points, right at the end, and now we get over a thousand points. It's officially more than Thunder O2, but barely, but barely. Oh, that's just oh, that's just tragic. It's tragic. Jeff Gordon fourth. Bobby Labonte gets fifth. Ricky Rudd gets sixth. That's a, actually kind of upsetting because Ricky Rudd was fifth and like top five in points the whole season, and then Bobby Labonte just beats him out right at the end. That's that. I'm, I'm upset by that. I'm all, there's a lot of things to be upset about. Uh, June Johnson did good. Same with Marlon Dale Jr. Almost. No, not almost, but he was tenth. And yeah, Jeff Burton by thirty points beats Ricky Craven. I mean, I don't even know what to say. I'm having a stroke trying to process it, but I'm a little disappointed. I really thought Craven could have held that, held on, even though I think Jeff Burns' AI is probably overall a lot better than Craven. But the fact Craven held on was so impressive. Um, we were uh, picking up places, had the best lap. I don't know if this actually tracks. Yeah, it does. Uh, front that's that's front runners. When was the last time we had front runner? Oh, it was Atlanta. Okay, it wasn't that long ago then. We lead 378. So, our second half of the season was not as dominant. Still dominant, though. What more could I possibly say other than just look at this. That's all wins until everything changed at Watkins Glen. Because <laughs> of the poorly timed caution. In Bristol, the AI stayed out. Uh, the caution glitch never happened. I was banking on it. We kind of discovered maybe a solution to it, possibly. And then we went back to our winning ways. Dover. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a hard one. So it's, you know, it's like our first straight up real, real defeat. And then Kansas. And even then, I kind of made a mistake. That cost me the win. But it, that could have been a possible win, too. So there was really only... The two Dovers and Kansas. So, what, three races out of 36 were hard? Like, actually, like, difficult? I don't know what really to say. Um, that is embarrassing. This game should feel embarrassed for, to be this easy. And also, since, to confirm it, once and for all, oh my god, we're on Legend. Who would have thought? I can't change it even if I wanted to. So... That's just how Thunder 04 is. I'm sorry, I'm just too good. I don't know what other word to describe it. Maybe is it that I'm too good or this game is too easy? I don't know. You decide. But I'm done. Can we look at the trophy room? I mean, none of this is complete because I didn't save my profile until like halfway through the season after each win. So this is like partially filled, even though it's kind of, it's cool to see it filled. I like I like this this stuff. It, that that's neat. But yeah. It's, it's cool. It's good stuff. Anyways, I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. Wrap it up. Do the Patreon thing. Post it or what if. I guess it's... Whatever. I'm done. Bye. Bye. Big shout out my tier 3 Patreon supporters today. Final Champ 15, Kamikaze Games, Bailey Carey, Maxi Link 1986, Jason Hellman, and my name is John for support. Anyways, thank you for what you guys do for the channel. It always means a lot. goes a long ways with everything. So, thank you, as always, for the wholesome, wonderful, continued support. I'm done. I mean, I don't know why you're watching now. I'm not even here. I'm I'm literally not even here. I'm out. Like I'm 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 already out to my car. Like I'm already in the garage. I'm I'm driving off. I'm I'm see you later. Bye. I I don't I don't exist anymore in this series. It's over. I'm done. This is stupid. Don't play season mode. Play career mode. Play ignition. That would literally be harder than this. The season mode. I I guarantee it. I just promoted ignition. I'm done. I, I, I can't. I can't anymore. Where's the freaking bleach? You know what? I'm just gonna drive my car into something. I, I hope. I hopefully I, I do a barrel roll as I pass away. That would be great. What if Racing's last video was playing Thunder 04 season mode and he hated it so much he just hit a ditch and did a flip cartwheel barrel roll as it exploded and he said YOLO swag 420. That's how he went out. That's that's the legacy. That's that's how it ends. This is over. I'm done. I'm gonna do a flip now.